never done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be one. I must ask you for one more service. Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenhardt. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me reward those who aided in the saving of Vardenfell, so we can reassure my people. To start, retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton. It shall be a glorious ceremony, my friend. One last task before your service ends, my friend. Uh, who knew what we were getting into when we met at my ancestral tomb, eh, my friend? <sighs> I'm just sorry that poor Archcanon Tarvis is no longer with us. I mean the real one, not the Daedric Hound. He really was a good man, and an excellent priest. I've been away from my tower for much too long. Hopefully none of my experiments explode in my absence. I do love watching a good explosion. It was a pleasure having you as an assistant. Much better than those so-called hirelings I usually employ. To save my people and the land itself, I was forced to sacrifice my brother. Chodala's own pride and ambition brought him down. But the blame falls squarely on Clavicus Vile and his damn hound, Barbus. Anyway, I am proud to call you my friend. Rejoice. You curse the darkness with good reason. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Were you able to locate the Arch Cannon's signet? Continue to guard it, for it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of Vivek? Overseer Shirilas, step forth. Overseer Shirilas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city, after relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Battles are. Approach. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that. Did Lord Vivek summon me? Arch Canon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Arch Canon Levul.
My lord, I'm not worthy. But I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. And I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. You come before me with an empty sack, but have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I am about to bestow upon you? Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice. The warrior poet shall write of your deeds in story and song, my friend. You will be remembered for your service to Vardenfell. Now go, see the wonders of our great land. There are others who need your help. Of that, I am certain. How much longer do I need to stay here? Social situations have never been my strong suit. I want to get back to my tower and experiment with this wonderful gift Vivek bestowed upon me. I already have ideas how to improve magical transportation. I may not consider him to be a true deity, but Vivek doesn't seem to be an entirely bad sort. I'll be heading back to my tribe soon. I'm glad we got a chance to see each other again before I take my leave. I lost my brother to ambition and became the champion of Azura. From that point of view, I suppose I'm doing as well as can be expected. I'll return to the tribes, pick up where Chodala and I left off, before he decided he was the Nerevarian. Not directly, but I do have a sense that malignant forces are gathering on the plains of Oblivion. But that could just be the scrib jelly and cheese I ate for lunch. Farewell, Outlander. May the Queen of the Night Sky guide you on your travels. What a singular honor. I've never been invited to a living god's soiree before. I'm just glad I was able to get all of the webs off my manservant. I'd hate for him to sully my reputation by making a bad impression. Pity there was nothing in that sack of blessings for me. At least that rock hanging in the sky didn't fall and bop me on the head. No, oh, what am I saying? The knight is still young. You might not want to stand so close, just in case. I can't believe this. Lord Vivek right in front of me. The living god himself. I, I hope I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Do you think I might embarrass myself? You know, I think I'll just stand here. Perfectly still, without moving. That would be good. Me? Among all these fine people? When I received Lord Vivek's summons, I didn't even change my clothes. I feel honored and embarrassed all at once. A vacation. I don't think Shiralas has taken time off since we got married. I hear Sedanine is beautiful this time of year. Maybe we could take a cruise up the coast. I've never been fond of the living gods, so I consider this a punishment. The first of many meaningless tasks the Grand Master will give me until he determines that I've suffered enough for the Veya debacle. Ugh, how I long for a nice, juicy writ. I had no idea you were in Lord Vivek's good graces. Perhaps you could put in a good word for me. I'm currently in negotiations with House Redoran about rebuilding a settlement. And have no fear, I'll keep my end of the bargain with the Ashlanders. Arch Cannon. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Still, it's been a grand adventure, hasn't it, my friend? 
I suppose if I could survive everything that happened, I can certainly serve as the High Priest to Lord Vivek. How hard could it be? 